A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 27th Feb. On the front page you have death toll rises to 27 in Delhi violence. 14 more succumb to injuries on Wednesday. So now National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, they visited the disturbed areas as well in Northeast Delhi. Where pro-CA and anti-CA groups clashed. Then this is Timely action by Delhi police could have saved lives. So, this is what has been said by the Supreme Court Judge K.M. Joseph. So, he slammed lack of professionalism in the Delhi police. And Delhi High Court has also asked the, the police to take a conscious decision on registering FIRs against three BJP leaders accused of making hate speeches. Then below you have High Court to the rescue of riot victims. So what's going on in uh, Delhi, in Northeast Delhi, in the pro C anti CA protests actually uh, Hindus versus Muslims and it's a riot which is taking place and High Court has, Delhi High Court has come to the rescue of riot victims. It has asked the Delhi police to provide necessary assistance and security to them. So, court said the highest constitutional functionaries who move with Z category security should reach out to the affected people to give them confidence that the law was functioning. So, here you can see the right affected victims should be given assistance is what has been ordered by the Delhi High Court. And this is in Rakhi Gandhi, anxiety trumps history. So, villagers here fear loss of land because central governments now plans to turn this Harappan site into a tourist hub. So, you can see the mounds of the Harappan site of Rakhi Gharhi where locals actually presently dry cow dung cakes and dump garbage, garbage here. So, this is the status of the Harappan site here, Rakhi Gharhi in Haryana. On page 7 you have this is Maharashtra Legislative Council. It passes a bill making Marathi compulsory. So, Marathi will be introduced in all schools irrespective of board from class 1 to class 10 from the coming up academic year in Maharashtra. And this is Maharashtra state to close education board set up by BJP government. So, the present coalition government of Maharashtra has decided to close this uh, Maharashtra International Education Board, which was set up by a former BJP government, it has 83 public and private schools affiliated to it. On page 9, you have Assam at the center of fresh border rule. So now Assam and the uh, Mizoram government have sought revision of the boundary with Assam based on Bengal Eastern Frontier Reg Regulation of 1873 and the inner line of Lushai Hill notification of 1993. So, this is an alleged bid by Assam police to pitch a camp in West Khasi Hills of Meghalaya, which borders Assam's Kamrup district. And this has resulted in the Mizoram group seeking revision of borders. Even Nagaland groups reported attempt to grab land in eastern Assam's Jorhat district. So, these are the you know, concerns and uh, disputes which have arisen in, arisen in Northeast. Three communities are even vary of clause 6 in the Assam Accord. So, these are three major communities perceived to be migrants in Assam. They have expressed concern over the recommendations of the High Powered Committee on the implementation of Clause 6 of Assam Accord of 1985. These communities are Bengali origin, Bengali speaking Muslims, referred to as Mias. So, these, these then the Bengali Hindus and the Gurkhas. So, measures to safeguard the cultural, social, linguistic identity of the Assamese people under Clause 6 of Assam Accord is a concern for them. So, they may not fit in the, in the category of Assamese as such. So, this is their concern. Then below you have Indian Air Force aircraft lands in Wuhan with medical supplies. So, India sent a heavy lift military transport aircraft to the coronavirus. COVID-19 hit Wuhan in China. So, this is C-17 Globemaster 3 aircraft. It carried 15 tons of medical supplies and it will bring back around 120 citizens and 5 infants while flying back. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Science and Substance. So, this is regarding US President Donald Trump's visit to India. So, it says Prime Minister Modi must leverage his rapport with uh, President Trump to clinch the trade deal, India-US trade deal. So, that has been highlighted in this editorial. 
and here you have sex and power so this is regarding hollywood producer harvey weinstein who has been convicted of two felony sex crimes and potentially faces 29 years in prison so his un courtroom trial took place in which six women testified that he assaulted them and this was the main case under the hashtag me too movement globally then the lead article is trouble lurks behind the bilateral bond homing so this is regarding again india us relations trump visited india and he has uh, this visit has aided us india ties but it has set the frame to on the extremes to which each leader will go with the other so, okay. we need progress on trade issues which are there between the two countries defense deals have been announced and then trade deal has also is to be uh, to be concluded and this is still no finality the third time round so this is regarding the new bodo accord which is was the third bodo accord which has been finalized between the central government among the central government the state and the bodo groups in assam so there are indications that the new bodo accord does not spell closure of the statehood demand made by bodo groups so still factions are not happy is evident so that is highlighted here on the opit page you have uh, this is an interview with award winning british journalist who talks on politics journalism and politics of journalism so that's fine then this is debating water quality so it says the competitive politics of the delhi election has brought the issue of drinking water to center stage so bureau of indian standards report in november 2019 on drinking water status showed that the issue of water quality has gone has got politically prioritized now so this is regarding that how delhi jal board claim that its water is of uh, of drinkable standards but bureau uh, of indian standards showed that it was not acceptable on page 12 you have jammu and kashmir an integral part india tells human rights council so this is un human rights council so we have said that cross border terrorism from pakistan is posing a grave challenge to the country so this is what to the external affairs ministry uh, secretary uh, stated to the human rights council at its 40th, 43rd session so this is in the context of situation in jammu and kashmir after article 370 has been revoked then this is cabinet approves bill to regulate surrogacy so union cabinet has approved the surrogacy regulation bill 2020 allowing willing women to be surrogate mothers and proposing that the bill would benefit widows and divorced women besides infertile indian couples one major change which has happened is that there are 15 major changes actually suggested by the 23 member committee to surrogacy regulation bill because it was referred to rajya sabha select committee so it has uh, given some recommendations the cabinet approved the bill after incorporating these recommendations so one is deleting the definition of infertility because original bill called infertility as couple not been able to conceive for 5 years of unprotected intercourse so it was said this was too long a period for a couple to wait for a child so that definition has been dropped so that is there also national surrogacy board state surrogacy board should be established basically the bill aims at banning commercial surrogacy and allows altruistic surrogacy surrogacy without any payment involved to the person who is uh, assisting on international page again you have the news regarding how virus cases are emerging faster globally now according to world health organization there are sudden surges of infections which is deeply concerning and the us also warns of pandemic of coronavirus new coronavirus covid-19 then this is the old news again uh, regarding sri lanka notifying un about rights resolution withdrawal so the human rights resolution which was co-authored by co-sponsored by sri lanka under the former government for uh, rehabilitation and reconciliation after the post civil war ended with ltt so 
this commitment now has been drawn back on by the present government in Sri Lanka. On the business page, you have center set to revamp in Information Technology Act. So, government will soon kick start the process of revamping the nearly 20 year old Information Technology Act of 2020 with an aim to bring in bring it in tune with the technological advancements with a focus on stronger framework to deal with cyber crimes too. So, this is what Minister of Electronics and IT Ravi Shankar Prasad has said. So, an expert committee will be set up to uh, for discussion on the new IT Act. Then this is cabinet gives clearance for text, technical textiles mission. So this is an initiative taken by cabinet committee on economic affairs. It has approved the setting up of national textile, technical textiles mission with an outlay of 1480 crores. It aims to position India as a global leader in technical textiles and use of increase the use of technical textiles in domestic market too. So from uh, taking the domestic market from 40 billion to 50 billion by 2000. 24 is the target. We have discussed about technical textiles earlier. It has quite often been in use. So these are textiles which are not used for their aesthetic purposes, for, but for their functional purpose. <coughs> so that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.